Guys, I'm in a house right now. It's a 1900 home balloon framed. I want to show you guys something that I don't see often and it's really cool. So when it comes to plumbing in upstate New York, insulation is really important. But way back when, they didn't have all these fancy materials. So you know what they used to use? They used to use horse hair. And you can see all the old horse hair insulation. And here's the old and the new juxtaposed. You got spray foamed horse hair. And just in case you've never seen knob and tube wiring, that there is a tube with some old wiring. There's another tube. Right here is an old knob. So when you hear knob and tube wiring, that's your knob and those were the tubes. And unfortunately we're in the attic and we've got live knob and tube. That is all knob and tube that is live. And it goes down here to this extremely old square D panel. Some bonus footage I'll give you for this jack post right here. Uh, jack posts, these are temporary columns, but I'm gonna show you something. There is a righter way to do this wrong. You see how this jack post is upside down? So this is actually the better way to do it. So if you're gonna use these and you're gonna do it wrong, this is the righter way to do it. The reason is that pin, that threaded pin right there at the bottom, it takes longer to rust out down here. That's a thicker piece of metal, so it'll take a lot longer to rust out. And then up here, this little plate right here, that plate is what the problem is on that pin when they put it upright. It usually bends and that pin pushes up into the wood. But you can see the pole is much wider diameter here, so it gives you a broader footing. In this particular implementation, they actually put a big steel plate under it. So it's not actually bowing at all. So if you're going to do it wrong, this is the rightest way to do it wrong. Big steel plate, post upside down, and then you just keep, keep an eye on that rust. Now, a lot of you are going to say, why are those jack posts not for permanent use? Well, those problems, the top plate bends, the bottom part rusts, and usually it'll, over time, when it rusts, it'll collapse. Your whole floor will just drop a couple inches in the middle of the night, and you're going to think you're crazy.